Welcome to a quick tutorial of how to use the DPSA Booking Helper extension. Um, so to get started, you are going to have to be on this screen. I can't get you here. The plugin won't get you here. You've got to navigate here just by going to um, the DBSA website. Once you are here, you must search on a postcode. Do not search on a in a town name or a driver center name, search on a postcode. Otherwise, it won't work. I'm going to do LE4 here and click Find Test Centers. And what it shows me is the four centers that are closest to that postcode. Now, if I'm very flexible, if I'm very flexible, I'll just use the plugin and I'll I'll look for every single test center that it shows. And that's actually how I did it. Um, I decided to just pick any test center. And then I found a, a test instructor that was at that location. But most people, they're only going to want one or two spots. Um, so within the plugin, um, there's going to be actually a free tier and there's going to be a paid tier for like a pound 99. It's, it's quite small. Um, but if you're using the free tier, you can pick which locations you care about and then you can run the automated process. So in the availability tab, there's a box that says only focus on DVA's matching. And in here, let's assume that we were okay with Melton and uh, Lester and Canick Street. I would type in the word Canick, just a minimal amount. I'm not going to try to use Lester space parentheses Canick space street parentheses because I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to use one word Canick. I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to add the next word which is Melton. So those are the two places I'm okay with. And just like that, I will turn on the um, plugin by clicking enable auto search and scan and you can see it counting down and it's going to refresh the page and it's set to wait every eight seconds before it refreshes the page again. And you'll actually see that the list is getting longer because the way it works is it clicks show more results. You don't have to worry about that because right now we're only looking for Canic and Melton anyways. Now, if you have the paid version, it allows you to do more. So I'm going to shut this off. If you have the paid version, it allows you to do a little bit more. So you could, instead of just looking for two test centers, Canic and Melton, you could actually say, actually, I'm happy to do any test center as long as it's not Wigston because people fail there all the time and I don't want to go there. Oops, sorry. You would have Canic here. You would remove that. And down here, you would ignore. So you'd say, I'm happy to go to any test center as long as it's not Wigston. And you could type in Wigston there and it'll, it'll scan them all except for the second one here. Additionally, you now have date range filters. So before, it's going to search essentially anything in a six-month window um, from essentially two weeks from now till six months, and that's because they don't even release tests until six months. But if you want to be super precise, you could say, actually, I already have a test for July, so I want to change that for you know anything before July 1st, and I'm actually available immediately, so anything as of today. Additionally, down here on available days, my test instructor, he's not available on the weekends, so I'm going to sh shut off Sunday and Saturday. So I'll only look for tests Monday through Friday. And then <clears throat> finally, in the timings, you have the ability to adjust how frequently it runs as well as how many test centers it scans. So it's going to default by scanning 40 centers. Even if you only have one selected, it's going to run until 40 are on the screen. That's kind of how it times. So you might say, actually, don't do that. I only wanted to check across eight, so basically run two cycles. Between those cycles, I only want it to wait 60 seconds. But between those, I, I, every time it shows more results, I want it to wait 16 seconds or something like that. So you can play with the timings both in terms of kind of what you're looking for as well as if you get it wrong, the website's going to try to block you, and that's just going to happen. It, it ha happens pretty frequently. So you need to be careful with these timings. You need to find out what works for you. If you get blocked, it's okay. You can open a new browser. For example, like on your Chrome profiles, you could click this button up here, and you could add a new profile. Um, 
you can you know clear your cache you can look up how to do that um, and there's ways to change your IP but you will get blocked occasionally but they will let you back on um, but you have to be very careful with the timings because if you try to get too aggressive and too greedy it's gonna block you faster but that's basically it so I mean if we just play around with what we've done here so it's gonna wait 16 seconds and let's let's have it look across 12 DVSA centers um, we'll have it pause for a minute in between we're only we're gonna look for anything but Wigston um, in these date ranges on these days and that's it and so when I click enable <clears throat> you can say it's actually waiting to start over that 60 seconds there's actually a variance to make it less robotic um, so it's gonna wait 60 seconds but we're gonna we're gonna try again anyways we're just gonna manually search up here and now we've got four results it's gonna wait our 16 seconds and go again There it goes. So what's going to happen when it finds a test? It's just going to sit here and it's going to run. When it finds a test, assuming you have your sound on, it's going to make a like a um, like a a bell noise, and it's going to auto progress to the next stage and pick the very first time slot that it sees. That it does that it could be because it, it has to try to go really fast to beat the other bots that are scraping the website to to populate those apps. If you don't want it to do that, you can uncheck this auto hold first booking button or, or checkbox. It will take you to the next screen, but it won't pick a time. The problem with that is that if you're not quick enough, the other bots and people on the website, they might pick it first. So if you just want to test this first, you don't want it to try to auto hold a, a booking, you can uncheck that and you can just see what it does. But it's really low risk. If it does the auto hold booking, you can always back out of it. It'll take you probably to the screen that says, are you the candidate or are you booking for a candidate? Um, and, in, and in that case, you can actually open the plugin back up. And at the top here, it should tell you what test center and what date it found. So it's pretty low risk. It's not going to automatically book it for you. Um, it will automatically hold it for you. And you still have the option to back out. But that's really it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, you can email the support email, and I wish you the best of luck.